What if I told you I just built a fully functioning web application in under five minutes without knowing how to write a single line of code? And I'm not just talking about a simple landing page or form either. I'm talking about a real web app with databases, user authentication, and custom features that would normally take weeks to develop. I know that sounds absolutely insane, but stick with me for a second. I'm going to show you a brand new AI tool that just dropped recently, and it's honestly scary how powerful it is. Now, before you think it's some clickbait nonsense, let me tell you about what we are dealing with here. Hostinger just released something called Hostinger Horizons and it's basically like ChatGPT for web development. You can literally describe what you want in plain English and it builds the entire web application for you, complete with hosting, domains and everything you need to go live instantly. But here's where it gets really interesting. Most AI tools just give you some code that you need to know how to deploy and host yourself and this gives you everything in one place. So in this video I'm going to build a whole web application from scratch and show you step by step how I do it so you can see exactly how it works and whether this tool is worth your money. So let's jump right into it. First of all, what is hosting your horizons and why should you care? Think about it for a second. How many times have you had a great idea in the past for a web application, let's say, but you just didn't have the knowledge on how to do it or the time to execute it? Probably a lot, right? It happens to me all the time. I would just give up before I even start because it seems too difficult to figure all of this stuff out. But hosting your horizons just gets rid of all of that friction for you. It's an AI powered platform that turns your ideas into functioning web apps in minutes. You describe what you want and the AI builds it for you. No coding required, no server setup, and no complicated deployment process. It's like having a whole coding team behind you that works 24 seven and doesn't ever get tired and delivers you the results lightning fast. Now I could sit here and talk about features all day, but that's not going to prove anything. So let's actually build something together and see if this lives up to the hype. So what I'm going to do now is create an inspiration bank for video editors where they can save all of their favorite projects, assets, screenshots, and be able to have all their video editing assets in one place to make their job easier. Think of it like Pinterest, but for creatives. So all you have to do is sign up for hosting or horizons, which you can try out for free in the description below. And then here where it asks you, what do you want to create? You just type in your idea. Let's say I want to, again, create a web application called editors vault, where video editors can save and organize creative inspiration. Users should be able to upload images, add notes and categorize content by style or genre and search through their saved items. Include user authentication so each editor has their own private vault. And after that, I could even go ahead and upload some images here if I wanted to use my specific logo, let's say. Or I could even enable my microphone and just dictate it what I want it to include, and it's going to put it into my prompting section. But the cool thing is you could literally make anything with this. I've already made a to-do list with this as well, and even an expense tracker, and it did a great job at executing all of those tasks. But once you are done with your prompt, you just click here, and it's going to start doing the coding for you. And as you can see, the web app is building right in front of our eyes. And this is pretty scary if you ask me. And you can see here on the left side, you have kind of like the prompting area where I will be also able to uh, ask it to do more changes and add more features over time as it finished making the first version of the web app. All right, so as you can see, it's actually done building the first version of our web app and it looks pretty damn good. First thing we have is an actual login section. Now you could now go ahead here and register, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to try it with a demo account and boom, there we go. As you can see, we have a dashboard here, a search feature. I can add a new tag in here. I can categorize uh, the different items I put in here. I even have a settings section and you can see it already made some categories for me like cinematic, documentary, motion graphics and so on. And I could just come here, click on new item and add a new item into my inspiration vault, which is insane. Like I could, let's say I, I have a teal and orange lot here. So I could put in here teal and, and orange lot. I could choose the category. Let's say I will just put it as other right now. I could write my notes in here. I could even add the reference URL and I could go ahead and actually upload the certain image or file um, that I would actually want to use, right? So I could just, let's say, click on this one. I mean, this is a thumbnail, but then click on save and boom, it added it right there. So I am actually like kind of mind blown, to be honest, that it made this in literally a matter of a few minutes. Now, let's say I wanted to take this 
a step further and also add a light mode feature to this web app that I just made. I could come here to the prompting section and say something like add a functioning light mode button at the bottom of the page. Then I'm going to submit this and now it's going to make this new functionality in my web app. So it's basically like if you were talking with a web developer and just explaining your idea to the person and then it does it for you, except it's way quicker and it doesn't really complain if you ask for too many changes. And here on the left side, you can see live the things that it's updating and the steps that it's making in the development process, which is super cool. Okay, so it says all set, your app now has a super cool light and dark mode feature. And as you can see, here's the button. And if I just click this, then I have light mode now. So I could go come here to the search. Uh, I could filter by categories. Uh, obviously, I don't have anything added to that one yet, but it is working and it looks a lot better now. Um, obviously, you could toggle the light mode or the dark mode on and off based on your preference. Let's add another feature as well to this uh, just to really show you what it's capable of. So I want to add now a mood board feature where users can drag and drop multiple images to create visual collections and also add the ability to export mood boards as PDF files for client presentations. Now, this sounds like a very difficult idea to execute on. So let's see if it can handle it. So as I've just been waiting on it, building this new feature, uh, you can see that it thought that it already finished it, but then it actually found a little uh, kind of like bug in it. And without me even asking for it to fix the bug, it already detected it and fixed it for me. So that is also super cool. And now if I click here on mood boards, I could go ahead and actually create a mood board. I could name it whatever I want, let's say, thumbnails and just like that it created a thumbnails mood board and now if I wanted to I could just click here on add items and add the specific item that I want into my mood board just like that it added it in here if I click here on export pdf it also downloads it as a PDF for me. And of course, it's not going to be perfect every single time, but you can just pretty much tell it what to change whenever you notice a mistake in the software and it's going to do it for you. So if you wanted to preview the web app, you could just click there. And as you can see, now we have the login area here, click on try with demo account, and we have a fully functioning uh, web app that we could actually go ahead and start using. We have the light mode feature as well. So if you ask me, this is pretty damn impressive. And I've even made a couple of other web apps, which I'm just going to pop up here on the screen, just to show you that you could literally create pretty much anything you want with this. Uh, if you have an idea, you just tell it what to do. And it's usually going to make a pretty damn good first draft for you. Now, before you would get too excited and think that this is a magical solution for all your problems, let me give you the real talk about what this tool can and can't do. First, the good stuff. The speed is genuinely impressive. What would normally require hiring a web developer, spending weeks on developing and probably spending thousands of dollars. With Hostinger Horizons, it cost me around five to 10 prompts and a few dollars in usage. AI is also surprisingly good at understanding context and making super smart decisions about how it's going to make the user experience. And the fact that everything is hosted and deployed automatically is also huge. You don't need to worry about server configurations, SSL certificates, or any of the technical stuff that usually scares most people away. But you do have to understand that AI sometimes does make mistakes. It's not going to be perfect and you will probably need to prompt it quite a few times to get it to be exactly how you would like it. But the good news is if it does make a mistake and your app is not functioning properly, you can ask the AI to diagnose the whole web app, find the mistakes and fix it on its own. And in 90% of cases, it's going to be able to do that. So the big question is, who is this tool actually for? If you are a complete beginner like me, who's actually never coded in their life and never really built any web apps, this is probably perfect for you. You can go from an idea to an actually functioning web application in just a couple of minutes and really just rely on vibe coding where you're just telling the tool what you want it to create and it does it for you. It's like working with a developer, but just way quicker and a lot cheaper. It's also perfect for testing different concepts, building internal tools, or just creating simple web applications that solve specific problems. Content creators like myself and entrepreneurs are probably going to love this tool because let's say if you need to build a custom client reporting system, boom, it's done in 10 minutes. Or you need a portfolio with custom functionality, easy. So I think it's probably not for the most advanced developers of all time, but for normal people like maybe you and I, it's probably a really good option. So if you've been sitting on a really cool web app idea for a while, but just haven't got started because you 
thought it was too complicated to do, then this might just be the thing you want to use to finally bring it to life. Now, if you want to try out hosting your horizons for yourself, I have put a link in the description below where you can go ahead, sign up and try it out for free. And even after that, they have a 30 day money back guarantee on their service. So you really don't have much to lose. And if you do build something cool with it, drop it down in the comment section down below. I'm genuinely curious to see what you guys will use this for. But here's the thing, tools like this are literally just the beginning. AI is changing the entire business and whole world. And if you are not staying up to date with the newest developments, you are going to be left behind. So if you want to see more content similar to this, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one.